Another gorgeous day for a hike. Get the pups out. A little ways out of town. This is his first time playing in the snow. Hey buddy. Oh you clover. <laughs> So one thing I did notice walking around here is actually that tree right there. Now it actually looks pretty healthy and in fact it is, but top of the tree leans right over the trail that I'm walking on. And now that might not seem like a pretty big deal, and in fact it really isn't, but in a heavy wind that could come down on top of you. So widow makers, they call them. Um, can be equally as dangerous as getting, say, hypothermia or something out here. You're actually not very likely to get, say, attacked by animals or something, especially with these two guys running around all over the place. We really doubt I'll see anything out here, but that is kind of concerning. So just something to be cognizant about if you're out making camp or whatever, and and. Um, when you go to set up your camp, make sure you're no, nothing's going to bump you in the night, fall on top of you. Look at the tops of the trees. Blowing sideways. So this would be a really good example of a widow maker. There's two trees falling down. Pretty freaking big too. Like I'm, that's about up to my knees. That one there, and that one, shit, that's got to be well, at least two and a half feet in diameter. Huge, and that falling on you could definitely kill you. you see, up uprooted the uh, roots, falling all the way across the road. Likewise, this one here, all the way down. There's the trail I was just on there. So, yeah, if you go to set up camp, you got to be aware of the trees that are above you as well, as opposed to the stuff that's below you. Well, this guy here is a rose hip. You can actually eat those. I wouldn't eat the seeds though, but you can actually eat those. And um, they contain a crap load of vitamin C. There he is right there. You can tell by the plant. The plant's really thorny. You can see that very well or not. In this area they grow pretty much everywhere. They really like disturbed soil. See all the thorns down there. And this one's actually pretty bare. There's only two of them on there. Hit the mother load over here. Holy cow, look at the size of that guy. Go ahead and we'll harvest some of these for later. We'll have some rosehip tea. So not only do you have to watch out for the trees above you, you can see the, the stream there. That's quite pretty. But you also gotta worry about what's below you. So this is frozen. Seems somewhat solid. I don't know, I'm standing on the bloody thing. But it's running underneath me. Although I don't think it's that deep. It's still <laughs> it's still something to be quite aware of to worry about. Fall through, I hope. Yeah, this whole little section here is frozen. So uh, I don't actually know how thick it is, but it seems to be holding my weight. Your answer right there, about an inch and a half thick. Very sparse, not very solid ice.
seeing this is very annoying. I mean, really, who do that? Come on. Garbage everywhere.